There's nothing I love more in the world than watching Hulk smash. It's kind of therapeutic watching the big green rage monster destroy everything in sight, but things are different now. The new Hulk would rather wear sweaters and read books than smash bad guys, but I think there's more to that story. We never saw how exactly Bruce became Professor Hulk in the MCU, and even though this is just some fun speculation, I think Banner may have done some shady things to suppress Hulk's personality. And now that he's snapped his fingers in Endgame, he's gonna have to face the consequences, meaning World War Hulk could finally be on his way. In the original Planet Hulk series, Hulk was banished from Earth by the Illuminati because he was just too dangerous. That's totally understandable given the circumstances. A gamma bomb goes off which causes the Hulk to go even more insane and attack Las Vegas. This led to the difficult decision by the Illuminati to banish him from Earth. Man, I wish I could solve all my problems by sending them off into space. All of my unpaid parking tickets? Pew! All my credit card bills? Shoop! I don't want to deal with them anymore and would rather send them off into space. Bye bye! Anyway, the heroes of Earth trick Hulk onto a ship under the guise of fixing a rogue satellite. But once he's up in space, they try to send him to a peaceful planet to live out the remainder of his days. Of course, things go wrong, and he enters a wormhole that deviates Hulk from his original course. He eventually landed on Sakaar, where he rose up and basically conquered the planet through sheer force and power. All hail the Chief! Its sequel, World War Hulk, saw a much more powerful, stronger, smarter Hulk return to Earth to cause some serious mayhem. Hulk wanted revenge for being banished, and because he suspected the Illuminati was responsible for the death of his wife and unborn child. It led to an epic confrontation between Earth's mightiest heroes and the Big Green Meanie. Of course, the MCU has done things a little differently. They made Hulk choose to go off on his own after the Avenge of Age of Ultron, where he accidentally fell into a wormhole that took him to Sakaar. Don't you just hate it when you fall into a random space hole? Man. While on Sakaar, Banner was completely repressed and Hulk was a gladiator champion for years until he crossed paths with Thor. The two teamed up to take on Hela, and thanks to the eventual meddling by Thanos, Hulk and Banner returned to Earth without much of a reference as to why they left in the first place. So although the exact comic storyline can't be followed at this point, I still think a version of World War Hulk could be done in the MCU, and it's all thanks to Professor Hulk's snap in Endgame. The Hulk and Bruce Banner's relationship really hit a rough patch during Avengers Infinity War. After Hulk was delivered an epic beatdown by the Mad Titan Thanos, Hulk refused to come out and play anymore. Now, there was a lot of speculation on why this happened. The writers and directors say that it was because Hulk didn't want to keep fighting Banner's battles anymore, but the movie itself made it look like Hulk is too embarrassed or scared to come out. Hey, I get it. If I suffered a beating by some overgrown eggplant, I'd be scared to fight too. Whatever the true reason was, the biggest thing is that clearly the two minds sharing one body needed to work things out and finally resolved the tension between the two that had been growing for years. But as we all know, we never got to see how they truly reconciled. Avengers Endgame surprised us all by revealing that Hulk and Banner were now one person, with Banner's mind in Hulk's body. The scene is played out mostly for laughs, with Ant-Man looking absolutely stunned with what he sees before him. But if you really think about this, this is incredibly shady and hints at a darker motivation from Banner. The movies have made it abundantly clear that Hulk and Bruce Banner are two separate people with their own separate personalities, feelings, and emotions. Heck, given whoever's writing the movie, sometimes the other personality doesn't even know what the other is doing. Like how Banner didn't know that the Hulk had full control of his body for years while on Sakaar. And as great as it was to see Banner happy and comfortable in Endgame, the biggest question is what happened to Hulk's personality. Banner says the two worked things out, and then sat in a gamma radiation tank for a while until they merged. But doesn't this mean that Hulk's personality is somewhere inside that giant green glasses wearing nerd? Would the Hulk we know really be okay with being forever repressed in Banner's mind? Just from the sounds of everything, it feels like Banner had to lie or trick his way into the current situation. Because really, what sounds more accurate? That the Hulk, feeling guilty of taking too much of Banner's time while on Sakaar, was willing to be forever trapped or destroyed in Banner's mind? Or that a super intelligent Bruce Banner found a way to merge his mind with the Hulk's body and cutting off the Hulk forever? Yeah, that second one sounds way more plausible and more in line with the original Hulk's character. But now the original Hulk is gonna be angry. Like, real angry. Sounds to me like he'd like to smash his way out by any means necessary. And the end of Avengers Endgame might have given him that chance. And it's not like there isn't a comic precedent for this. Right now, Hulk and Banner's merged form resembles Professor Hulk, but the movie's version of the character is a lot different in live action than he is in the comics. In the comics, Professor Hulk is just as violent and unstable as the Hulk normally is, but with just the brains of Bruce Banner. 
That's a really dangerous combination. It sounds like one of the most powerful beings ever. That much brain power inside the body of the Hulk? It sounds all too scary. But all I'm saying is, if the MCU wanted to paint their version of Professor Hulk with a slightly more shady characterization, it wouldn't be a huge deviation from the comic books. That sort of unstable experimentation deserves some sort of larger consequence, right? And Hulk's personality bleeding into Bruce Banner would be very fitting. But enough of all the shady stuff Professor Hulk did because he's also done a lot of good too. And of all the major snaps that take place in the franchise, it's easy to forget about the truly magnificent feat that Professor Hulk accomplished when he snaps his fingers with the stones. Thanos' first snap was pretty easy to make happen. Wipe out of half of everything in the universe. Done. Tony's snap was the most memorable just for how emotional it was saying goodbye to the character. But in terms of difficulty, Professor Hulk had it the hardest. He not only had to bring back everyone and everything in the entire universe, but he also had to make it so people who were in danger when they disappeared, like people in planes or boats or something like that, wouldn't just come back and immediately perish. That sounds like it would take an insane level of power and skill that nobody but Professor Hulk could accomplish. Because of the immense strain this put on Professor Hulk, I think it opened the door for the original Hulk to return. Every snap has an immense toll on the snapper, but Professor Hulk just seemed to deep fry his arm. Other than that, he's still in tip-top shape. But we know the stones hold immense psychological power as well as physical power. It's possible that the stones affected Professor Hulk's mind and awakened the real Hulk on the inside. Think about it. When Thanos snapped his fingers, he saw baby Gamora talking about what the snap cost him. Although we didn't see it in the theatrical cut, we know that there's a deleted scene that saw Tony Stark come face to face with his grown-up daughter when he snapped his fingers. The point is, snapping usually comes with some sort of meet up with an important person in your life, and we didn't get a chance to see what the Hulk saw. And out of everyone in his life, there's no one we'd imagine Bruce coming face to face with that would really impact him. Betty Ross has been forgotten in the MCU, and her father, Thunderbolt Ross, doesn't seem a likely contender either. His romance with Black Widow was swept under the rug almost immediately, so really, the best and only option that Banner saw when he snapped was the Hulk himself. And can you imagine how awesome that scene would have been? It could have pitted the two characters against each other in a way we've never seen before, and really set the stage for World War Hulk to appear down the line. So if somehow Hulk found a way to escape the mind prison that Banner put him in thanks to the stones, then the stage is set for an awesome showdown between these two characters, and fans could finally see the confrontation and eventual reconciliation that these two characters deserve. An angry World War Hulk that wants revenge against the Avengers for letting this happen to him? would be an interesting progression for the character. And let's face it, where else can the Hulk go from here? His character arc was wrapped up off-screen in Avengers Endgame, and it's about time that it was fixed. It would turn one of the biggest problems into one of its biggest strengths. So overall, it would be great for Hulk, but I feel bad for anyone who stands in his way. And the really great thing about this theory is that it could go in different directions. Maybe World War Hulk won't be coming to the MCU anytime soon, but that doesn't mean the snap from the stones didn't lay the stage for other comic versions of Hulk that we've been dying to see on screen for years. An interesting thing to do with the character would be turn him into Maestro, a name which really sends shivers down the spines of loyal comic readers. Maestro is a version of the Hulk from an alternate future timeline. He's similar to Professor Hulk in that he has banner smarts in Hulk's body, but he's also much crueler and more dictatory. That's a word, right? In the comics, Maestro came to be after a nuclear war killed almost every superhero and the rest of humanity was brought to the brink of extinction. Hulk, of course, survived the war and became Maestro, seizing control of all that remained and becoming the new ruler of the planet. Now we never see the MCU going quite this dark, but having the Hulk turn into a version of Maestro thanks to the snap would be an interesting turn for the character. Perhaps they could also mix in shades of one of the coolest versions of the big green guy, and that's the World Breaker Hulk. Besides having the coolest name, because seriously, World Breaker Hulk sounds like a champion. Maestro sounds like an old guy running an orchestra. Uh, please don't tell the Hulk I said that. But this version of the Hulk is insanely powerful. In the comics, World Breaker Hulk came to be after he absorbed radiation from hulked out heroes. Don't ask, it's a long story. And he emerged even stronger than before. Now I can't imagine a situation where all the Avengers get infected with radiation that the Hulk has to suck out of them. But I could see writers developing a storyline that sees the Hulk get stronger and stronger thanks to the gamma radiation that affected him after he did his snap on the Pinterest Infinity Gauntlet. Overall, I just love Hulk and Bruce Banner's character, and just want the MCU to do more with him in the future. Just because Cap is wrinkly and Iron Man was sent to a farm upstate, doesn't mean we have to say goodbye to everyone. Hulk has the potential for a lot of insanely good storylines that I don't want to see forgotten or moved on from. Please, make it happen, Marvel. 
I hope this theory turns out to be true. World War Hulk would definitely shake things up in the MCU in a great way. What about you? What version of Hulk do you want to see next? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more awesome MCU content. Thanks for watching.